it's 2023, I feel like I shouldn't have to say that vaccines don't cause autism, but... Vaccines don't cause autism! Like, Jesus Christ, at what point are we gonna start holding Joe Rogan accountable for the misinformation that he platforms and spreads? Because obviously Spotify isn't gonna do it for us. Vaccines do not cause autism. In the almost 100 years that autism has been studied and documented properly, there's only ever been one singular study that linked autism to vaccines. And you know what? The doctor behind that study lost his license for that study. Not because that study was against vaccines, but because they found he cherry-picked his data because he wanted to spread a narrative that vaccines were bad. Donald Triplett was the first person to ever be diagnosed with autism. And guess what? He had autism before vaccines. Because autism existed before vaccines. You just didn't hear about it. There are many reasons why there is a rise in autism diagnoses. One, girls are finally being diagnosed. Back before the 1980s and 90s, they didn't even believe girls could have autism. We now know that that's wrong. So automatically, when 50% more of the population is considered in the diagnoses, you're gonna see a stark rise in diagnostics. Reason number two, we're finally acknowledging what autism looks like in communities of color. Communities of color, particularly black and Hispanic communities, have long been forgotten about by the diagnostic criteria. They will show the same, if not similar, symptoms to everyone else in the diagnostic criteria, but because they are strictly people of color, they have been historically ignored. We now have doctors who are people of color themselves who are working actively in their communities to fix the lack of diagnostics within those communities. Third reason why diagnostics are starting to rise, um, we're not being eugenics anymore. Yeah, that's been a huge thing that's happened throughout history. Disabled people, especially those with intellectual disabilities or autism, have been known throughout history to be forcibly put through sterilization. We now know that that is inhumane and a disgusting way to treat people. So we're no longer allowing that to happen. We now see autistic people who are allowed to be parents. And hell, we have parents who find out that their kids are autistic because they themselves are autistic. Because autism is genetic. It is a genetic condition. We know that there are over a hundred genes that are linked to autism. And you can have any one of these genes and pass it along without being autistic yourself. We have literally no way of guaranteeing whether or not you do pass along those genes for autism. Because again, there are over a hundred known genes that you could be carrying. Yes, even you. We need to stop treating autism and talking about autism like it is a pandemic. Autism is not a burden, and contrary to what a lot of Aspie supremacists believe, it's also not the next step in human evolution. Autism is neither a good thing nor a bad thing. Autism is simply neutral. It just exists. And if we were to talk about autism, as a neutral thing, we wouldn't be having misinformation like this that leads to people dying. When children don't get vaccinated, children die. We just got out of a pandemic that killed over a million people in this country alone, and yet we are allowing people to spread misinformation that could get a lot more killed down the line. People like Joe Rogan need to be held accountable for the ways they weaponize their platforms to get people harmed. Vaccines don't cause autism. Deal with it.